Hi, this is Sarah Nine Studios with a tutorial on how to paint a chestnut model horse in 10 layers of pastels. The supplies you'll need are the Alpha Color Chalk Pastels Earth Tone Set, Krylon Matte Finish, Krylon Crystal Clear, a stiff brush or Q-tip, a mop brush, a good reference picture, and a model horse in white primer. Before you start painting, be sure to hold your horse somewhere where your fingerprints won't touch the pastel dust. I usually hold the horse by the tail, but in this case I'm holding it by the feet since they'll be painted white la later anyway. It is also a good idea to wear gloves like this to prevent any oils from your hands from touching the pastel dust and creating a dark spot. I start my first two layers with the lightest cream in the set. This will help create a nice base coat and help eliminate any roughness in the primer that can cause graininess. I take the chalk pastel stick and shave it down into a dry dust. Then I dry brush it onto the horse. For both layers I cover the entire horse with this color. Push the pastels into the horse using soft circular motions. When you are finished with each layer, use your mop brush and brush away any loose pastel dust from the model. Then use your two sprays. The first spray you will use is Krylon Crystal Clear, which will seal the layer of pastels you've just done. Wait 15 minutes and then spray the horse again with Krylon Matte Finish to give the pastels something to stick to for the next layer. Then wait another 15 minutes before starting your next layer of pastels. You must repeat each of these steps between every layer. And remember to always spray outside and never indoors. For the third layer, I use the same light cream, but also add a bit of this light brown chestnut to the mix as well. I take the two colors and mix them together. Then apply them to the horse. With this layer, I cover the entire horse as well. With the fourth layer, I use only the chestnut color. I follow my reference pictures and don't add color to the fetlocks here because they're still a light cream color. Remember, all horses and reference pictures will be different, so shading will never be the same with each horse. With my fifth layer, I use the same chestnut color, but also add some of this light brown. I mix the two together and slowly get progressively darker. I then begin shading on the horse's body, leaving areas such as the flank, girth, muzzle, and legs lighter. For both my 6th and 7th layers, I use only the light brown. I start at the top line of the horse and bring the color down following my reference. It is also during these layers that I start darkening the eyes and muzzle. I create a mixture of the black and dark brown in the set and apply it there with a Q-tip.
With layer 8, I mix some of the dark brown in with the light brown and keep following along with the shading in my reference. I also keep adding dark brown and black to the muzzle and eyes if necessary. For layer 9 I use only the dark brown and only on the darkest areas of the horse's coat. Usually along the back, the knees, and areas on the face. On my tenth and final layer, I usually darken the very darkest areas that weren't covered with the ninth layer. I also add a bit of shading to the muscles to define them. And now after 10 layers of pastels, your horse's main body color will be chestnut. Now you can go in and paint the mane, tail, white markings, hooves, and eyes.